Hey everyone, I'm Ava and today we're going to be recreating popular doll Instagram photos again. It has been literally over a year since I did the last video of this, but we did have a bit of a series going on and it is a really fun thing to do. So we're back at again with part four and we're going to be recreating some awesome doll photos. The first photo that I'm going to try to recreate today is from an Instagram account called Chris underscore Y doll. And here's the photo here. I'm also going to mention that all the Instagram accounts will be linked in the description box below because they have some awesome doll photos and definitely check them out. I pretty much have everything for this photo. It's pretty straightforward. So let's just get right on into trying to recreate it. I'm going to start by putting in this black background and I'm going to put this weird green rug thing I have on the floor here to look kind of like grass. I do have the exact same doll as in the photo, which is very convenient and nice, but she definitely doesn't have the right dress on right now. This is a really pretty dress, but not the one that I'll be using. Here is the dress that I'll be using for the photo. It is so pretty, and I'd say it's pretty darn close to the original. I got this from an Etsy shop, and I did do a video where I reviewed it in there, so definitely check that out. And since it was actually supposed to be like a wedding dress or something, it came with this extra piece of fabric for like a veil, which is exactly what we'll need for the photo, so it's perfect. So now I'm just gonna try to position her as close as I can to the original photo. So this might take a little bit. I'm gonna place this veil on top of her head now. And it looks like some of it is wrapped around her arms as well. So I'm actually gonna do that quickly. This is how it's looking, and I think it's looking pretty close so far. As you can tell in the photo, they have like some more textured moss going on around the base. And I actually do have this old crusty fake moss. So I'm gonna try to use it and see how it looks. I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle it around and see if that's gonna give us the look that we're going for here. This is gonna create a mess. It's not quite as vibrant as the moss in the photo, but hopefully I can like edit it to look a little bit more lively. Yeah, this is not gonna be fun to clean up. And then as for the plants up top, I don't really have anything that'll be exactly the same. So I'm just gonna kind of use some random little fake plants that I have and hopefully it can give a similar effect. Yeah, the plants definitely don't look too great or similar to the photo, but we're just gonna work with it for now. And I might even like just Photoshop the leaves from the original photo into the background of this one. I don't know if that's considered cheating, but it might just really help make the picture look a million times better. Otherwise, I think everything is pretty good. The only thing I'm gonna change up is the lighting. I actually have this little remote here for my soft lights. And if I press this button here, that was the wrong button. Um, if I press this button here, I can change like the temperature. So this one's on cold. It might be even hard to tell on camera, but that kind of just made the lighting colder, which will make it more like the original photo because there's definitely no warmth going on in the original photo. And I might turn off one of the lights. There, I think that will be perfect. So I guess all that's left is to just take the photo. And by photo, I mean like at least 30 photos and then I'll go through them all and decide which one looks best. I think that photo turned out pretty well. Of course, it's nothing compared to the original. Naturally, all of the original photos are gonna be a million times better than mine. I'm not expecting mine to look better, I'm just expecting it to look similar, and I think it did a pretty good job. The next photo I'm gonna try to recreate is from sassy underscore dolls. And this one is really neat. The doll's in like an elevator. However, I don't have an elevator. So I'm gonna make a little makeshift one for the purpose of this photo. I have two big pieces of foam board. One is going to be the back wall of the elevator and one's gonna be a side wall. 
And I also have these strips of foam board, which are going to go like at the bottom and in the middle, like how it looks like in the photo. But I'm gonna need to paint everything silver first. Next, I have this mirror paper and I cut a strip of it and I'm just gonna stick that to the back wall in the center here. And then I'm gonna glue these strips in place. So one at the bottom and one in the middle on both of the walls. And lastly, I'm going to glue these two walls together. So here is our rickety elevator. It's obviously, oops. It's obviously nothing special. Um, I mean, just look at it. It's pretty ugly, but it'll do the trick for the photo, which is all we needed to do. Now let's get the doll ready. I decided to go with Emily for the doll that I'm using. There's definitely quite a few differences from her and the doll in the photo. One being that her hair is definitely a lot shorter, but I think she's just gonna be the best bet because I don't really have any other dolls that could work. So we're gonna have to make do with it. As for everything else though, I think it's pretty perfect. I have the same jacket and shirt, a similar skirt, the same kind of like stockings, white shoes. I gave her hoop earrings. I clipped back some of her hair exactly like how they have in the photo. And I even like gave her bracelets here. And I also did swap out her hands to look almost identical to the ones in the photo. And so she can actually like grab onto the purse. The purse is a little bit different, but it's white and I think it'll do the job hopefully. So I'm just gonna kind of position her and try to get a good photo. I don't love how my mirror is all like textured. I do not love that at all. So I might need to like edit that out later um, because that's really gonna bother me. Once again, I think I am going to change the temperature here. That is not the temperature. Why can I not do this? There we go. To make it a little bit colder because I have lots of, like my silver is kind of like a warm color, weirdly. Um, I think it's just gonna be better if I go on a bit of a cooler color. Let's see how this turns out. I think that photo turned out pretty great. I definitely had to do a lot of editing. The editing is what really saved it. But honestly, the editing is what makes like every doll photo. So I think it turned out pretty great. Next up, I'm gonna be doing a photo from Barbie Style on Instagram. This is definitely one of the biggest Barbie doll pages on Instagram. And I've recreated a photo from them before, but this is the one I'm doing today. And I think I have pretty much everything I need to do it. I'm gonna be using Zoe for this photo, and she's actually already in the dress that I'm going to use for this photo. I am going to do a little bit more with it though, because obviously it is quite different from the one in the photo. But what we do need to change for sure is her hair. The one in the photo does not have this like top bun thing. Um, I don't know why I'm realizing this just now, but I literally could have kept her top bun because it would have been cut off in the photo anyways. And I've had this on her forever, like literally since I've had her because it's how the doll comes in the packaging. But I'm actually not against taking it out for once and seeing what her hair would look like down. I feel like it could actually look really good and I like how it looks in the photo. So hopefully we can be as lucky. I guess I'm just gonna cut it out. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's scary. There's no going back now. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of this one. Okay, the uh, elastics are out and obviously she's not looking great right now, but this was to be expected because that button's been in there for years. So I'm gonna go quickly rinse her hair under some boiling hot water and hopefully everything can lay down flat and nicely. I'll be back with an update. Okay, her hair has been rinsed and I think it's gonna dry really nicely. I'll be back when her hair is dry. We're back and her hair is dry. And I'm actually super happy I did take out her little top knot thing because I actually really like all her hair down like this. The only downside is she doesn't really have like a part on her head, like there's no parting because it was put up in that uh, little bun. 
but if I just kind of like smooth it back, like kind of how it is right now, it's not a, it's not that bad. And um, I don't know, it's definitely just gonna be a lot more fun to style and I can definitely do a lot more with her now. But that's besides the point. So now we are going to continue moving on with getting this photo. So like I mentioned, this is the dress I'm gonna be using. It's like it's from that same Etsy store that I got the black dress from. Um, and I absolutely love this one as well. And like the black dress, this one also came with a veil, which is gonna come in handy because if we look at her dress compared to the one with the photo, the one in the photo has like these big poofy sleeves and none of this design on the front. So I think if I like strategically wrap this around the doll, I can make something work and make it look a little bit closer. I don't know, I might try something like this and see how that looks, but you kind of get the idea. I'm gonna just kind of kind of make it, I'm just gonna kind of make it look like she has some poofier sleeves. As for the background, I'm putting in this pink backdrop. It is very close in color to the one in the photo that doesn't really show on camera. It looks kind of like purpley, I think, a bit on camera. Anyways, I can just assure you though that it is very similar. And I'm gonna put... That is so loud. And I'm gonna put my blue backdrop here as well because it looks like there's kind of like a window, but it's definitely very much this blue color. Back to the doll, I gave her these little silver hoops and I pulled back her hair into a ponytail in the back. And I actually really love how that looks on her. And lastly, this little pink purse, which I will make her hold in her hand like in the photo. I'm aware several things are off here, but I'm trying my best and hopefully we can make this work. I have her somewhat positioned with the purse in her hand, her other hand on her hip, and in the photo, her hair is much shorter, like they cut it off a little bit, but I already took out her bun and I'm not gonna be cutting her hair because I do like her long hair. So we're gonna make it work with her long hair and I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. As for lighting, again, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light over here to kind of create some shadows and as well as change the temperature once again. I pressed the right button this time. On a colder setting, just because I think it's gonna help with lighting and everything later. And I also just wanna say, I actually really like love how this dress looks with that thing wrapped around the top. It's actually a vibe, honestly. So now I'm just gonna try to get that perfect photo. I'm actually super surprised with how well the photo turned out and I'm really happy with it. Again, it's not identical to the real one, but with what I had, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think I'm gonna do one more little bonus photo. And this one is from Cheryl Blossomy. It's a pretty straightforward, simple photo. So hopefully we can nail it. Unfortunately, I do not have the same doll as in the photo, so I think we're gonna use Emily once again, and I do have this like one piece sort of outfit like the photo that I literally just whipped up in a couple minutes here. Um, so it's obviously not perfect looking, but hopefully it'll just be what we need for the photo. I stole the bed from my like luxury doll room, and I'm going to take off this quilt here and put on this one that I've had for a long time. And it's also very wrinkly, um, but hopefully we won't notice in the photo. And I guess I'm just gonna position Emily in place. And then I also do have this little glass that I put like a piece of brown paper in to look like it has a drink in it. That she'll hold as well. Okay, so I did somewhat get her set up here and I did put the drink in her hand with some sticky tack. And we'll just see how this goes. I have a feeling I'll have to do lots of editing, like to edit this back part to be longer. And it probably just edit like lighting and all sorts of things. They also definitely did editing to like get rid of all the joints and stuff and some other like distortion and stuff. So I'll probably do a little bit of that too. Um, but yeah, like I said before, it's all in the editing. So we'll see how this turns out in the end.
This definitely is not my favorite photo from this video, but it was just a little bit of a bonus and it was fun to take. And that is all of the doll photos that I'm recreating today. Once again, make sure to check out all of the Instagram accounts linked down below because they're all amazing and all have amazing doll photos. You can also follow my Instagram as well, also linked down below. I haven't been super active on there, but I'm hoping to take more doll photos and start posting on there a little bit more. Make sure to comment down below and let me know which of the doll photo recreations is your favorite or which one you think I did best. And before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to your girl Val, Brookie McBentley, and Safwana Said. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you need a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.